Today we'll be reviewing part number FX P15. This is the Fulton Bolt Through Swivel Marine Jack, rated at 1,500 pounds. This is going to be ideal for marine and recreational use. Has a convenient spring loaded plunger pin with a half inch diameter that's going to help us activate the swivel feature. It's going to allow us to move the jack up into a stowed parallel position to the tongue for travel, and it's going to allow us to move it back down into an upright position to support and lift our trailer. This jack has a really nice Z-Max 600 zinc finish that's going to provide superior corrosion resistance and it goes through a 600 hour salt spray rating. The mounting plate on here is a bolt through mount that's going to provide minimum deflection and maximum support. This is made from a nice heavy gauge steel construction. The handle is going to provide us with a nice sidewind design and it's going to give us a handle radius of about six and a quarter inch. The wheel is thermoplastic and the mounting bracket is designed to fit a three inch by five inch trailer frame. And the mounting bracket and the hardware is all included. Now when we measure the overall length of our jack, we're going to measure right at 26 inches. A couple other measurements that I want to go over is the outer tube of our jack is going to have a diameter of two and one quarter inches and the inner tube is going to measure right at two inches in diameter. When measuring from the center of our mounting plate to the bottom of our jack, with it in the fully retracted position, we're going to get a measurement of 12 and three quarters of an inch. We're measuring from the center of the mounting plate to the top of our jack to make sure we have the right amount of clearance when mounting. We are going to have a measurement of 12 and a half inches. Our wheel is going to measure eight inches in diameter. And I have another jack that's in the fully extended position. And I want to do the same measurement from the center of the mounting plate to the bottom of our wheel. And it's going to give us a measurement of 22 and 3 quarters of an inch. So if we subtract the retracted position from the extended position measurement, we're going to be left with about 10 inches, which is where we're going to get our lift or travel measurement from. So again, in the fully retracted position, we're going to have a measurement of 12 and 3 quarter inches, and in the fully extended, that's going to increase to 22 and 3 quarter, giving us a lift or travel of 10 inches. A couple other measurements that I want to give is I really want to focus here on the mounting plate. Once again, this is designed to fit a 3 inch by 5 inch trailer frame. You can see that we have mounting patterns on both sides, and there's two sets on each side of our plate. These holes are going to be separated by one inch for each set. The distance from the center hole to the center hole is going to measure two and a half inches. And the measurement from the outer hole to the outer hole is going to measure four and a half inches. Now when measuring across the mounting plate, it's going to give us a measurement from center to center of five and a half inches. And the holes are going to measure seven sixteenths in diameter. But that really doesn't matter too much since you'll probably be using the included mounting hardware and it's already set to fit the diameter of each hole. That's going to complete our review of part number FX P15. This is the Fulton Bolt Through Swivel Marine Jack rated at 1500 pounds.